Hey, what is up guys? This is FNH here and today I'm going to be showing you guys how you guys can find large hidden files on your computer, okay? So if you have, um, you know, your hard drive is filling up and you really don't know why it's filling up, you know, you checked all your big files and, you know, you really don't have any but it's still, you don't have a lot of space on your computer, um, this is basically how you find it, alright? So there's one of two programs you can use, there's WinDirStat right or there's tree size file tree size free okay they have a paid version also so um, but the free one is just as good so you can just do the free one or this um, either one are good so let's test out both one by one so the wind it basically stands for window directory uh, statistics I guess right um, so yeah for this you wanna either do individual drives or all local drives depending on how many hard drives you have um, I will just do individual drives right oops uh, let me show you that again um, yeah I'll do individual drive um, the second drive that I have it's a memory card so I will exclude that that's just a memory card for my camera um, so I don't wanna count that so this is um, Blade Stealth C. That's my C drive on my computer. Basically, my hard drive with all whatever I have on this computer. All right. So I'll press OK for that, and it's basically going to scan the C drive and you know try to find all the files, and uh, you know just I guess display to me afterwards. So while that happens, um, it can take a couple seconds. Um, usually wouldn't take up to a minute, so probably always less than that right uh, but while that happens I'll open up the other one right because um, that will probably take some time as well so I opened the other one um, it's similar in the sense that you know you have to select with directory so here you can select the directory or you can click the folder if you wanna select it from the folder and same thing you would want to select the C drive okay so this is the other memory card that I have EOS digital I don't wanna count that so C drive, just double click it and then you can do select folder. Alright, so you know that's gonna take a little while also, you know, um, obviously because it has to scan your whole computer and try to find all the files on there. So we can see that this one is still scanning. Um, hopefully it'll be over soon. Okay, tree size file is completed. Um, I'm not sure maybe it's completed it got completed quicker because I just recently did scan it so maybe it could be that but who knows so you can see over here um, the total size on my hard drive is 243 gigs and you can see 148 gigs are used in this folder users okay and then you, there's also you know 11 gigs here program files 24 the windows takes up like 30 gigs right uh, and then we also have this one 9 gigs so what is that um, this is a page file this is um, if you guys don't know what this is um, I, you can just google it and find some more information about it it's just some information for your computer that, that your computer keeps so when you you know restart your computer or anything it can open up the same programs with the data so yeah um, depending on that you can either keep it or the proper way to delete it um, suggest you just google it more information on that all right so you have that and then I also have uh, system volume information which is for some reason 2.3 gigs 2.7 I don't know why it's so big but okay um, recovery file so you can see all this so now we can drill down into users we can see that this guy has he's using the most um, space right and we can dig down more the desktop is using like almost 70 gigs let's go in the desktop and here we have a folder called videos which is 41 gigs and then in here you can see all these video folders um, which basically is taking up most of the space alright so you know all these uh, stuff so yeah you know this way it, it can easily you can easily visualize it you know see what is actually taking up how much space you know you can change it to percentage um, so meaning the way the percentage works is um, this users folder is using up 50 oops, it's using up almost 59 percent of my C drive right and then when I open it this 
user folder is taking up 99.8% um, of the user's folder, not the razor blade. So then in here, um, the desktop is taking up 54% of, of this folder. So, and so on, so on. So, um, you know, I, would, uh, I don't wanna keep going in, but you guys get the gist of it. Um, this way you can find a lot of the stuff you don't know why um, you know, you don't know why you have so little space, but not little files, maybe some kind of folder somewhere, you know, in your downloads folder or your desktop that you don't know that you have. And it's really large, right? Um, really easy to visualize it because I had a similar issue where for some reason my page file was 20 something gigs, which was kind of insane, right? Um, so I had to kind of reduce that and now it's, it's nine again, but um, hopefully else it wouldn't get larger than that. And so now back to this program, um, you know, this one's a little more advanced than this one, um, but it, it shows the same exact things. So over here, you can see that the percentage is over here, the users folder, and then uh, this user is basically taking up most then the desktop, right? And then videos, um, same thing, you know, um, you get the gist of it. Uh, so another thing is this, the way um, it does show a pretty nice thing on the right hand side, right? Um, you can see that MP4 files are using 56.2 gigs on my computer. All right. And that's, you know, obviously that uh, videos folder that I have on my desktop. All right. So you can see that just by file extensions, which ones are using the most. Okay. Um, and then on the bottom over here, you can click, uh, the bigger the, I guess the square is, the larger the file is. So, um, you know, you can just do it from there. So yeah, um, let me know what you guys thoughts are. If you guys, um, if this helped you guys, definitely leave a like, um, don't forget to subscribe. You know, if you guys use another program, let me know because these are the only two that I have used and they really helped me. Um, you know, let me know if you guys use a different one and that's, you know, more useful. Other than that, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that notification bell and peace out.